Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch. So we are going to do a project today that was inspired, is inspired by Retired21 on Instagram. And I so apologize because we have followed each other for quite some time and I don't know your name. <laughs> And it very well could be one of my lovely subscri lovely subscribers here. So I really apologize if you want to let me know your name, you know, then I will know. I, I may very well know you. It's just um, with these type of, you know, names on Instagram and that, I don't always get the connection between people, you know. So I apologize. But this is your idea and it's fantastic and it just looked fun and easy and yeah perfect for me today because I'm kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So um, yeah, I just needed a little, a little simple one. So definitely check her out on Instagram. Um, this is such a fun idea. And I saw it just a few days ago. So I was like, I want to try this before I forget because <laughs> Lord knows I forget. So I have a pile of just scraps and junk over here that I pulled out. Um, and I have some bits of fabric here. So we're just gonna play around. And I think hers were a little bit bigger than mine. I just wanted them about this size. I thought these would be fun. You could put them on uh, cards, you know, as a card topper. You can make them bigger for your journal pages. So these are about, they're all different because I just tore them, I didn't measure. Four by five, roughly, okay? So anywhere in that area, if you want the same size I'm doing. If you want bigger, you're going to want to tear, you know, like a bigger sheet. And I don't even know exactly how she did hers. Um, I just looked at it and this is what I've come up with. So she basically took different scraps of whatever and uh, put them on there and then added a piece of fabric and stitched around them all over the place. Kind of crazy um, quilter crazy quilt style or whatever you might want to call it. So yeah, I just thought they looked super fun. And I'm trying this stuff and I don't know if I like it because you see what it does. So it's not foam, the stuff that I have. I showed it to you guys the other day. It's this, um, my father-in-law works for the airlines as a mechanic and he had, gave me this huge roll of this stuff, which is kind of a I don't know what to call it. It kind of feels cottony or something like that. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's polyester. But anyways, and then it's got a sticky back. So I just cut a round of it and put it on my little Tim Holtz dauber just to try it out because I go through these sponges so fast. I, and I don't know exactly like how many weeks they last me or whatever. It's not a lot. Um, but anyways, I'm trying this and the only issue I have is this but other than that it works great so I'll just use it until it's falling apart and it's like everything else but I didn't have to pay for that so I guess it doesn't really matter it, it does the job so anyhow that's that because I did get questions after I mentioned that so I want to say hugs and blessings to Celeste, Mindy, and Pat. Thank you so much for following. Thank you for um, kind comments and um, just being part of my days. I really appreciate it. This is the inside of an envelope. So, and you can just use however you want. She said um, no glue, but I think I might glue just because I want to. And I'm going to have mine hang off in places. So the backing is just more of a, I don't know, something to hold everything to, I guess. So yeah, I um, have had a harried day, which you can probably tell by my voice, my daughter I mean, not that I've had to do anything. I just worry about or thought I might have to go, you know, to her house and get her or something, but she's got COVID and she's kind of a mess. So she just, you know, she's not feeling good, coughing really bad. Been waiting all day for cough medicine. And like, I just <laughs> told her to call him because they haven't called her yet about the cough medicine. I said, you might have to call the pharmacy and just see. She says, I don't want to, I don't have any energy. And it's like, well, I can't call for you, so you need to call. <laughs> because, you know, once you're an adult, they're not going to give me any information. They're going to be like, uh, yeah, she needs to call. 
it's just all that stuff. I feel really bad for her, though, because she's totally one of those people that is self-sufficient, you know? And, um, yeah, when she's not doing good, it's, it's odd. It's out of place, for sure. So, anyways... But yeah, I loved I loved this idea, and I just have whatever random stuff you have. It doesn't have to be like mine or anything. These are just kind of fun, I, I feel like. Yeah, she wanted watermelon, and I told her, I'll bring you watermelon if you don't have COVID. <laughs> and that sounds horrible, but I don't want it again. <laughs> I mean, I could I could go drop stuff off at her door and stuff like that if I need to, but she's kind of far away. But yeah, I mean, not super, not really far, but just you know, a little bit a ways. I know, real nice mom, right? <laughs> it's just not really fun to have. Which you probably all know, because I think a lot of people have had it by now. Yeah. But I do feel horrible for her, because it isn't fun. So I think the idea really is just grab whatever you got. This actually is easier to um, use, because it doesn't you know, like drag on the paper. It slides along real nice. So that's kind of cool. I just don't love all the, the stringy bits. Sorry, I'm just trying to decide how I want to do this. I'm going to turn just a little bit more off. Yeah, I'm mostly just gluing to tack mine together until I stitch them. But like she said, you don't, you wouldn't even have to necessarily do that at all if you don't want to. That's probably going to stick off too, too far, huh? And we'll take another strip of something or other. Yeah, I felt like these could be grungy or you could do them with, I don't know something that you have that maybe isn't very grungy if you wanted a uh, shabby look or something you could make them any way you felt like depending on what you use I of course like the grungy thing this could actually be for the grungy journal mine is just about complete I just need to do a flip through and I will probably do that next week um, on Tuesday. That seems to sort of be when Carol and I are. And then she just would put a piece of fabric, and I thought it might be fun, or, or not fun, but you can use any size piece, you know, doesn't matter. It's just a neat use of the bits of fabric that we all have. This is vintage fabric. So I think I'll just do something like that. And then I also thought it would be fun. This is where the I thought it would be fun part comes in <laughs> that I said ahead of time um, to use like one of these Tim Holtz uh, people. And of course, if you don't like these, don't use these. You can just do it with the paper and the fabric. But I always like to stick these on because I like them a lot. Like this lady right here, I think. You could also circle punch them if you want. You could do all kinds of stuff because you could put, you know, flowers if you wanted, like the paper, birds, all the things, all the things. I mean, this isn't like necessarily a new idea. It's just a little bit different than other things I've seen. So I like it. Something different, right? And I think they would look cute on a page. Sort of instead of a fabric flip. I'm not a huge fabric flip person and I don't know why, just not. And um, so this sort of to me could take that place. 
See, that's a problem with those all glomming onto there. I'm gonna tack this down with glue as well. But yeah, what a fantastic idea. And I apologize again, I don't know, I went and looked even for your name <laughs> and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I apologize if I'm just being a dope, but like I said, with everybody uses different usernames for one thing and another, it gets very confusing and I'm not great with names anyway. And I feel like you could add another strip of fabric up there if you wanted to, if you were gonna use it sort of like a flip. But I just think they're fun, they'd be great. You could just have it as a little tuck too. And so I need to stitch around it. And then after you stitch around it, if you're finding like loose bits that you don't want that didn't you know, get totally stitched, then just do that and glue them down. But I'm just gonna do this for now and then I'll stitch them and I'll come back and show you when they're all stitched. So super simple, no, no big instructions or anything. You could do these any way you want to, but fun and relaxing. I love doing stuff like this that's relaxing. I, I really didn't think I was gonna get a video done today. So this is, so I'm doing good. I know you can wet it and it tears better, but I don't want to. So some fibrous paper is fun. See, there's a big fiber right here is what the issue is right there. I like to use this packing paper background wise because it, it just looks Good. And this is the paper that's in the Etsy shop. Oh, there's a pack that I have that has all that. I think I put that in a totally different spot than I thought I was going to. That shouldn't surprise anyone. Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> that was worth trying anyway. Definitely works if it would stay together. You don't get those, um, when you do that, you don't get the circles, which I also like. Not getting the, cir the circles. Some things I'm inking, some I'm not. This paper is super fragile, so I'm gonna glue the whole piece because it if you even bump it, it falls apart. Yep, like that. Super fragile. And you can do as many pieces as few pieces, depending on the size of them, obviously. So let my ink a little. Ink, don't ink, whatever floats your boat.
Yeah, my daughter called yesterday and wasn't feeling great, but she's like, I'm going to work. She just thought she was getting, you know, cold type thing. But she woke up this morning and could not talk hardly. Thought she might have strep, but was not strep. She said she had burning in her lungs too, which made me immediately think of COVID. So I wasn't all that surprised. I guess the, they were saying they've had a whole bunch of cases of it down there. It's going around. And I just mentioned that the other day, that it's going around. Wouldn't you know, these cherries are cute. And you don't have to put it in the same place, which I tend to do. I do that, start doing that cookie cutter thing when I do stuff. That, I think that's why I don't mass make. Because I feel like I end up just doing the same thing over and over again. Plus I have the attention span of a gnat. So there's that. I wanted to find a little girl, a kiddo. Guess this one doesn't have them. She looks very happy though, so let's use her. I can pick them up. Should we do a circle? These are way too big, yes. Or my other one is. It's right here in front of my nose. This seems too small. I need like somewhere in between. Sorry. Reaching, reaching. I think that's the same one. <laughs> same size anyway. <laughs> that one not. <sighs> These things. Mm, I think I'm just going to keep it. I don't want it that small. I want one like in between there. I like to do that with these, knock the corners on them. They end up looking a little beat up that way. Worn. It's a little glue. I'm using the fabric or the liquid glue on this because it's a little bit thicker. I mean, it's all going to get stitched, so I don't know why I'm worried about it, but old habits die hard, right? <laughs> Okay, maybe we can do a little bit more masculine one. Oh, there's a whole stack of these over there. This guy cracks me up. I 
I don't know why I find that guy terrifying. I don't know what it is, but I like that picture. Like no shade. I just don't, I don't know what it is about that picture. I don't, I don't like it. I didn't like it. My husband calls it my sixth sense. <laughs> I think he's right, but... Or my spidey sense, that's another one we, we use, another phrase we use, Aiden, my daughter's got it too. Like, always trust that. <laughs> it has served me well. Ever think, oh, it's probably fine. When you get that, if you get that, because not everybody does. That little thing in your head that says, no, no. Bad juju. Yep, yep. Okay. This one you're hardly gonna even see any of it, but that's okay. It's just it's just layers. That's a very fall apart piece as well. I think I turned out a different way. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's fine. scraps the scraps are never ending I could wallpaper my walls oh you did I'm starting to glue the whole entire thing I need to stop doing that because it's not necessary and then it's sticky where you don't want it to be sticky those habits are hard to break I don't even need to put it on the glue book I can just do that and then maybe I won't do the crazy glue thing
Oopsie. Of course, there has to be a giant glue glob on there. Okay. Do I want, I think I want like a different picture now. You could also use, oh, the paper dolls would be good. I just got a bunch of those from my friend Sandy. What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. Green Sandy, thank you, Sandy. Because I got the 1896, the old camera. It just felt like it needed, I don't know, something else. Something else. I think this is the right side. I'm just going to put a little, a little dabble do you right there. I can stand on these, sort of those boxes there. So we have a hawk that has been coming for the last two days, repeatedly, not just twice, to get doves. I'm like, I feel like telling the doves, y'all don't pay attention. <laughs> because two mornings in a row I go out and there's carcass of, well, if you could even call it that, whatever's left when they're done with it. It's crazy. And then yesterday when I got home from running errands, he was on our back patio just sitting on the back of one of the chairs. And it's so crazy because you know their heads turn all the way around, but when they turn their head all the way around and look at you, it's just very <laughs> disconcerting. <laughs> so, yeah. But he's been hanging out, or she, I don't have a clue. Anyway. And... Doves, you need to wake up, man. Your dinner around here. I might put another little some kind of something here. Fabric. Uh, just needs a, a, a dab of color. Not that. Piece of this, maybe? Or, oh, maybe this would work. What did I do with my scissors? It's pretty, pretty big one. I don't know exactly what kind either, but it's, it's pretty big hawk. Those birds. I think I'll just put it right there. I told my husband it's really weird because um, they can eat other birds and they're fine, but I mean, these are the weird things that my brain does. Um, if humans eat human, for example, it can mess up your brain, like make you crazy. I mean, it should make you crazy for many reasons, but anyways, so I just wonder why that doesn't happen to them. Yes, that is how my brain works. Terrifying, right? But it's all those things that just make you go, hmm, wonder why that is. Don't know. So if somebody knows why that is. My husband was saying maybe it's because, like, the hawks and things are raptors. They're different from the other birds that just eat, you know, seed and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. So maybe it is like eating a, eating something else. Like they can't eat another raptor. That kind of thing. I don't know. Yes, we are having weird conversations with Amy today. <laughs> uh, I don't know why some of these I'm setting all up before I glue them down. Other ones I'm just grabbing stuff and gluing it down. Don't know. Just do it however works best for you, I guess.
It's trying to keep the numbers. This is new ledger. I think I found it at a thrift store, but it's still, it's not obviously the old kind. So just look wherever you can for things. You might even just have some things floating around your house that you could use. Like the inside of envelopes. For example, maybe we'll use blue on this one. See, there's the strings from that thing everywhere. That is not super effective. After I do this one, I will go stitch. Sorry, I don't have a way to uh, do that on with my camera. It it's really just a pain to do, and it wiggles and everything else. So I just don't have a good setup for filming stitching. I'm not the best at it anyway. There's people that are better to watch do that. Um, Gail Agustinelli does that every so often. She used to do it more, but. It's, I mostly am, you know, straight stitching, and I only have two stitches on my sewing machine. I don't have, like, a whole, whole bunch. I have a Singer, what's it called again? It's, like... I wanted to do a more masculine one, but I don't think it's in the cards. Oh, I like this lady with her feather on her hat. Um, I don't know. It's just a basic Singer sewing machine. I think they're like $120 on Amazon. No masculine ones for me today, I guess. Just wasn't in the cards for the things I grabbed. It's mostly these rough edges that are messing this up, this thing, but that's mostly what I ink, so. And again, don't add the pictures if you don't want. You can you can put whatever you feel like on instead of those. Oh, I do love chenille. Yeah, I'm going to do it even though it's very bright. And wow. Just going for it, using up the scraps. Don't know where I'll use these, but eventually they will they will find a home. It happens like that. I think I want this, the index part on here too. Okay, I'll go stitch and then I will bring them back so that you can see what they look like. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So on hers, she stitched with black thread and that's totally your choice to do that. I just kind of prefer the cream color for most of my journals. A lot of times in my spooky journals or things like that, I do use the black thread and I do like it. I don't know. I just seem to use this uh, cream colored thread the most. So anyhow, that's what I did. And I did like stitch all the way around. You can 
choose to do that, do that or not do that. This one I didn't go all the way. I went on these sides and then around the picture and around the fabric. I mean, that paper's not going anywhere, so. But they're super fun, and they're not fat or bulky or anything. They're actually very thin. And these cute little girls. I just think they would go really in any journal. And if you obviously uh, don't put the pictures on them and you kept your colors pretty neutral, well, even, you know, like this is fine, you could um, then when you make a journal, you could add pieces of ephemera from that journal to decorate it with instead of making them like this ahead of time. You could just do them real sort of basic and then add things to them later on. But I think they're so fun. I mean, I know it's stuff that's probably been done, but I don't know. It just struck me as new. So I was like, I'm going to try these. So thank you again to retired21 on Instagram. I really appreciate it. And again, it's all lowercase and then the number 21 all together, no spaces or dashes or any of those kind of things. So super simple. Go check her out on Instagram if you have Instagram. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed these and I will see you again soon. Love ya. Bye.